What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters. Ross Lingard, Benjamin Brown Keeley, Aqua, Max Mayer, Goku, Nog Saren, Wes Devil Zero, Amy Labossiere, Lieutenant Weeb, Daniel Fitzwilliam, Pablo Vidal, Sean, Scott Wright, Zach Thorpe, and as always, I'd like to thank our executive producer, The Anime Hybrid. Thank you all very much for your support, and if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. So the first part that we did, you know, it... Hey, Shorty. <laughs> All of a sudden, as soon as we start the video, Bork, Shorty, is upstairs. He's yipping up a storm. Uh, lawnmower guys, uh, the lawn care guy people are here. So, um, yeah, uh, John Tron uh, did the video on Kid, uh, Kid Nation last time. And, um, yeah, there's been a lot of people telling us that we need to watch this one, part two, where he interviews Jimmy, the uh, eight-year-old who literally had the most dramatic hand up I have ever seen in my entire life. Like all of a sudden, is there anyone who wants to go home? Yeah, just raised his hand like he was like he was just like made for that. Just like I'm, I'm going home. And as soon as he leaves, that's when they hand out the gold star worth twenty thousand dollars. I mean, he fought peer pressure though. To do that, he had to just beat peer pressure. That's a lot to say for an eight year old. Well, yeah. I mean. <clears throat> peanut he, butter and jelly sandwich on the other side or not, you know. Well, yeah. That's still pretty brave. It is. I mean, I mean, the first one through the uh, through the wall is always the one that gets bloodied. I mean, that's that's how it is with everything. And, I mean, you got to applaud the kid for being eight years old and going out in the desert. And which there's a lot of people... <laughs> the ride into the town, he was like, hey, we're all going to die. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can I respect that brutal honesty. Like that kid, uh, that kid is that kid is legit one of like the more real people on the show, and uh, there's as far been a lot as I of, know. there's been a lot of people who've been uh, telling us that uh, a lot of the only thing that was scripted in the show was them finding the book, and everything else that happened. I think was the only unscripted. people that know are the people that were there. Yes, really. which you know what I mean. Which yeah, it's, this kid inter was it's there. entertainment business. It is. In there's which, a lot of controls in place. There are. In which this kid, you know, Jimmy, whom. John inter is interviewing in this episode. Apparently, knew. Uh, apparently, was like you know he, he. I would trust him over pretty much almost anyone else. Yeah. I mean, you know, we can sit here and say it was scripted, but if he says it wasn't, I mean, I'm more apt to believe him because sure, it was there. Any kind of NDA agreement is up by this point. So. Surely, oh yeah, because this was what almost <clears throat> twenty years ago. And can a child even be confined by that? I mean, is there uh, any? Yes, but legally by the parents. The com the company cannot legally sue the child where they're underage, but they can sue the parent. That's we it's weird how this shit works, dude. I mean, NDAs are very weird. I mean, there was a guy who was uh, who worked for John Deere for years and was under a like thirty year exclusive NDA that he was not allowed to divulge information about John Deere tractors, and he went and opened up his own tractor business after after working for John Deere for like twenty years. And uh, pretty much John Deere came to his business after him being in business for like 10 years and said, oh, no, everything that you've developed is uh, currently owned by us. What? And he's like, uh, they're like, yeah, when you quit, you actually were not relieved of your NDA and your exclusivity agreements on everything that you developed. And thus, everything that you developed independently on your own still belongs to us. And it was this big legal battle that got embroiled, that he got embroiled in. And the dude, the lawsuit actually took so long, the dude died of old age. Damn. I mean, the... Hey, day, that John Deere grain's still running, boys. It is. I mean, John Deere, I mean, they know what's up. And <laughs> I guess. I guess, yeah. I <laughs> mean, that's the way you want to look at it. They know how to fuck people over. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Like, you know? And there's, and you know, there's <clears throat> NDAs like that all the time, dude. I mean, it's like yeah. Hollywood NDAs. I mean, Harvey Weinstein knows all about them. The law sucks. It does. The law it's does like, suck. Did you know... Um, you can run an art contest right now and every piece of art that someone submits to your contest, you can then turn around and sell as much as you want, mass produced mm -hmm. in whatever form you want. And mm -hmm. they can't do shit about it. Yes. Yeah. It's cause there's like so many fucked up laws and stuff that just fuck over people where well, they shouldn't. Well, and here's the thing. This is why I believe in, in, well, 
I believe in copyright law, but to a limited, but to a limited gate. For instance, CGP Grey has has this great video on it, copyright forever, less one day. I'd suggest that all of you check it out, uh, where he talks about how copyright used to be only twenty eight years, twenty eight years long, mm -hmm. which means that anything twenty eight years later, anyone can take your work and rework it, reshape it, and do whatever the hell they want with it. Twenty eight more, uh, and he used an example. Oh, you want to. Uh, make a new story for your... You want to make a movie and you want to use a, a for previous intellectual property and tell your own version of it. Okay, what came out 28 years ago? Oh, Star Wars. Get to work, right? Alas, no. Because even though it was released in 1997, it's copyright protected until 2072. It's the lifetime of the author plus, thir plus I think, 30 years. Which is ridiculous. Because, look, I can understand that some people become more famous after their death. Jimi Hendrix, for instance. Yes. But at the same time, Jimi Hendrix, within 28 years of him writing his material, would have still fallen under his estate, and he would have still, and his family would have still made tremendous amounts of money off of him, even if 28 years later all of his work was then free range for anyone and everyone to use. Now, there are arguments that can be made for copyright to go a little bit longer. I mean, some say 40 years, some say 50 years. But the lifetime of the author plus 30 years... I mean, why that? I mean, because, I mean, if you, if you're dead, what are you creating? You're you're not creating anything because you're dead. Why? So why should you get extended protection after you're dead? Do you know why? That do you know why they signed it through? Because companies like Disney, the Walt Disney Company, not the Walt Less Disney, who was all about you know, you know, let people do as they please because. Half of the friggin' works that were used while Walt Disney were still alive and what made the guy famous were other people's work that he reshaped and re... I mean, Cinderella, Snow White. I mean, the list goes... Sleeping Beauty. The list goes on and on and on of great works that he reused and reworked a, a, that were previously copyrighted but were now no longer under copyright. But yet, all the stuff that's been created under Disney is copyright protected by the Walt Disney Company for a hundred years. That is so. This guy could have been under contract for a hundred years. Maybe. Could have, yeah. I mean, there's certain contracts that do. We last might be a looking at time. a real rebel here. Maybe. He raises his hand and he shows up I on think, John. Well, I think stuff like the NDAs <laughs> and copyright are no NDAs are completely different. <clears throat> completely different. So. Well, Who knows? Copyright is again. It's the copyright and trademark system of the United States. I was kind of thinking about it. Personally, what I would go for is all right. Once you invent something. Mm -hmm. you have an indefinite amount of copyright on that invention so long as it's not making money, basically. Like, someone else can't steal it and try to make money with something you made up, like, until you've made an X amount of money. Once you make an X amount of money on it, though, at that point, they should throw out and be like, all right, for 15 more years, this is yours. At that point, let everybody else have their go at improving on it, you know, something like that. Well, Because, I like, someone... Like, the, th the whole thing that always bothered me about you saying, like, you know, uh, like, a short amount of time, like 20-something years, is just the fact that there's a lot of people that put something out, like, it just doesn't get discovered. And yeah. And then, like, years <clears throat> and years later, people will be like, oh, wait, shit, this has been around, so holy shit, and then it'll blow up, and they'll make a lot of fucking money off of it. It could be pretty and circumstantial. it would be pretty fucking lame if someone yeah. made a new thing, put it out. It just didn't get discovered for the amount of time they had a copyright on it, and then someone else just re-put it out with, like, a different name, and then all of a sudden, like, the right person saw it, and then they made all the fucking money off of it. That would mm. be kind of shitty for the person. It's like countless artists well, well, never yeah. get famous until they're dead. It's crazy. Well, no, that's the, that's yeah. why I listed Hendrix, because he's probably the most famous example. Yeah. And well, I mean, how many painters are the famous example? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but the thing, <clears throat> but the thing with painters is that their artwork stands the test of time and switches hands from different collectors. For instance, right. Van Gogh's paintings go for like 80, 70, 80, sometimes $100 million, yeah. and it depends on who's buying it. Now, Van Gogh's dead. Right. Like, he's been, like, those paintings are hundreds of years old. Yeah. So so you can sell prints of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, selling prints of it, that like, that's mm -hmm. one thing. I mean, but the whole thing with Nick's argument, I can understand that because the people who invented Gorilla Glass... Gorilla Glass was invented in the 60s, and it didn't become famous until recently, whenever it was required for, for phones, most cell yeah. phones. I would and, say they shouldn't <clears throat> be at least allowed to make, like, I would say, like, uh, 
maybe like a million and a half or something like that on something. And then at that point, you should be like, all right, now there's a timer on it, and you I, have rights to it for this amount of time after that. I think when they file the trademark, they need to include capital investment. Like capital investment meaning time spent developing, money spent developing, add it all together into like an, equator, an equatorial thing, and then have that be like the benchmark and say, okay, 300% of that, and then after that, yeah, you're, you're I guess that would make more amount. sense, like, yeah, percentage in terms of, like, the amount of money put into it. Yes. Like, and, like, that could be a more fair system. Because if you, if you capped it at, like, a specific amount, like a million and a half, then, like, you would never have anything have a budget of close to a million and a half. Whenever in which, when you look at So certain, that kind of fucks over movies and shit. Yeah, in so. which, when you look at certain medicines, certain medicines, medicines are, like, too, yeah. ridiculous amounts of money have been spent. For instance, on, like, penicillin, the development of penicillin has taken decades and still they're discovering new things about it and i mean yeah anyway we got off track there for a little bit sorry about that chad tried to bring us back on to uh, it, and i'm yeah, sorry about that oh no, you're good I but just, i'm here i'm here for you guys yeah, i do the same shit yeah we're loud we're obnoxious <laughs> and we cannot shut the hell up what else is new anyway uh this is john tron uh jimmy tells all kid nation exclusive here we go Hello, my Hi. hair is getting so large it is acquiring its own gravity field and or sentience. This video is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. Hey. That's right, the wallet that holds up to 12 cards as well as cash. With over 30,000 five-star reviews and a lifetime warranty to boot, the Ridge Wallet actually is pretty damn cool. Buy. And best of all, they've got over 30 colors and styles to choose from so you can pick the one that's right for you. So if you're still using a bulky old wallet like this, why don't you head over to ridge.com slash JonTron and use code like this? JonTron to save yourself 10% and get free worldwide shipping and returns. And not to mention, this beauty makes I like a that. perfect gift yeah, I did for Father's Day, which is coming in. <clears throat> don't be a bad son. I might buy one of those, actually. Hey, wait. That's, yeah. that's the day before my birthday. Hell yeah. I'll be turning Best 32. Time on JonTron. John took a plunge into the world of Jonathan Karsh and Kid Nation. Today, we catch up with Jimmy from New Hampshire to find out if he's still eight years old and <laughs> ask the hard questions. If you haven't watched part one, do so now or I'll scream. You heard him, ladies and gentlemen. You better go watch it right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean go to John's channel. I mean, you can click right there on his name in the title of the video. Go watch the original video if you have not seen it. Do it. Just do it. What are you waiting for? All right. Link in the description below. What may have seemed like the ending there was really just the beginning for us. We had to get down to the bottom of what actually happened at Kid Nation. And I'm very pleased to announce we have a very special guest joining us here today. So everyone, please put your hands together for Jimmy Flynn! Not eight anymore. I gotta take precautions here. Gonna <laughs> right. spray you down first, Jimmy. All right, sorry about this. Spray real good. Okay, let's go. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy spray him down with light. Lysol. Jesus. Have a seat over there. Thanks again for coming on. Of course, it's an honor, John. Oh, it's, 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 it's our pleasure. Trust me. Look at you. Not you're all grown up. You're a big boy now. Yep. I'm a big kid I'll now. You think this is funny? This isn't funny. This is serious. This was child abuse. What happened to you? Can <laughs> <laughs> I offer you anything uh, before we start? I'm going to crack you a can of Bush's baked beans. Sure. Nice. Sorry. This, this, this should hydrate your floors. Oh, shit! <laughs> Jesus, John. Oh, God, I'm sorry. So this is the real Jimmy. This is the real, he's really here. This is him. Uh, Jimmy, we have a lot of questions for you. I'm, I'm sure everyone watching at home, I'm sure everyone is curious. I'm curious. We're all curious, but we want to get the real scoop from somebody who's really there. You say your um uh, your memory's a bit fuzzy, then, right? Yeah, it was 13 years ago, so a little bit fuzzy. Yeah, so you were eight uh, then, 13 and you are 21 now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just tell us. What we really want to know is, was it as real as it looks? So, so people didn't. Um, so they didn't say no adults. I mean, they, they meant no parents. Obviously, there's cameramen and stuff. People yeah, thought, people thought there was no cameraman or anything. Like, that's what I'm saying. I figured the, I figured the cameraman wasn't a, like like a toddler. I wasn't a robot. Yeah, <laughs> a robot. Or I wouldn't even think a robot. I was thinking like a toddler. But uh, <laughs> um, wait, so 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 yeah, there's adults manning the stations, the cameras yes. and stuff. And every now and then they would they would they would, they would dictate some things. You did like I found a. So I was on the poor team. Okay. The poor team. The poor team. Oh, you mean like the, the labor team. class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we yeah. have that down here? 
<laughs> See? There you were. Child feudalism. That's <laughs> <laughs> you down there. See? You were. Yeah, I, 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 you were right there in the labor class. I was one of the damn Jets. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you that. Anyway, so you go on. Um, so yeah, so we, we got like, I don't know, it was like four or five buffalo nickels, which was the currency. Buffalo nickel? Buffalo, they, were, they were just silver with buffaloes on them. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> currency of the old west. <laughs> And I spent yeah. all my money in the candy shop and on root beer. You were going to a payday advance, like, right after that, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I wanted you, were, you were waiting in the unemployment <laughs> line. Yeah. I was, but, and so I didn't have any money, but, like, like for the most part, I spent all of it. And then you got to save, the Jimmy. Camera, Come on. I, I didn't know what saving was. I didn't, <laughs> he was a kid. He was eight. He was eight. <laughs> I'm way too young for this. <laughs> and so they were they, they the camera, and like, oh, look what we found here. And then kick some dirt and... They go, oh, it's a buffalo nickel. You should pick it, but they planted it probably. Oh, they just they just would like throw you more money. Yeah. So like, was it a real functioning economy? I mean, I, to a, to an extent. Yeah, I mean, like I would go. I didn't know we had a general store. I didn't know that. They didn't, they didn't communicate that with us. I just knew that there was a candy store and a soda shop. It sounds like they didn't clue you in on much then. Yeah, I, I also probably wasn't listening very well because I was I was eight. <laughs> and I don't listen to me. Come on. Did they yeah. give you like food? Uh, that wasn't shown, or did you really have to eat what they cooked? So for the most part, we ate what they cooked, and they had like it was horrible. The, what the kids cooked? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was shit. It was horrible. I knew it. <laughs> they really weren't feeding you. You had to they, feed they yourself. Us, to my memory, they fed us one time, and it was after the big. Um, one of the kids started to look real pale, like yeah, his I, foot yeah, started to after, numb. After, after the um, after, <laughs> we got trench foot and, after <laughs> after the um, like the big event. We came back and okay. everybody, there was no time to cook because we did the event. We were all like freezing because it was it was very cold. Oddly enough, it's cold in New Mexico at night, and so they just, well, it's they the desert. Us. I mean, I, I didn't like vegetables to retain very much. Heat. I remember it was, it was a, a weird, a weirdly cooked chicken breast, and then like this purple. I'm assuming it's cabbage now, but I didn't know what it was at the time. Some purple stuff. <laughs> it was purple stuff. It wasn't good. Oh my god! I, didn't, I was I did not eat very well because other than that, we had so we, the whole dusty pancakes and molasses syrup. So they really they Ugh. just said. Children, make your own food, really eat it, and stay alive, and there's no problem with this. They're, they're, they, 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 one of the interventions they had, they had people just walk around making sure you're hydrated. <laughs> they, they couldn't have people passing out, so... Okay, there was just, <laughs> that'd be bad for ratings. Yeah. <laughs> they had this one oh, yeah. Was giving me Gatorade. Oh, and they gave us this dust to brush your teeth. Yeah, like, little... What? You do this, and you... Could have just picked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we had that back in Boy Scouts. It was like the little, like, little pouches. You rip open, put it out in your hand... You will like wet your finger like that. You dip it in and just. And it was it was a lot like it was a lot like uh, how you see people do cocaine without snorting it. Yeah, I was gonna say, or they just doping up these Boy Scouts. We're marching through the woods. We're marching. Through, you know, <laughs> probably, <fucking>. probably <laughs> because all of a sudden after that, it was it was like, all right, kids are going for a march. Yeah. I don't really feel. I am pretty, okay, let's go. I'm pretty sure I would have enjoyed Boy Scouts a lot more than I did if that was the case. Yeah, right. Like I remember hating most of it. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I honestly, I like as a kid, I was like, "This gonna like, suck." I ain't the doing process it. of learning them. So. Yeah. Well, let me get to. Well, I remember when I graduated from Weeblo, and then all of a sudden they were just like, uh, they were like, "Okay, now you're Boy Scouts," and I'm like, "All right." And here's how you get the Eagle Scout badge. There's this, 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 this. It was like a 30 step program, and I'm just like, how old do how old am I gonna be when I get this thing finally? 50? Try, try 50? having a troop leader that added his own fucking steps to. Oh yeah, I've heard of that too. People yeah. having their own. You're not badges. allowed to do that, and he did that anyway. Like uh, one of the requirements for us to become an Eagle Scout was we had to have hiked the Mishamaqua Trail, which was a 25 fucking mile backpacking. Trail. Yeah, that's that's and, not. Uh, I didn't do it, and that's one of the reasons I didn't actually get Eagle Scout. Like, what the fuck? well? So. I remembered. I remember the very moment that I well. These you reasons, got like, screwed up. In all technicality, man. I am an Eagle Scout because I did everything else you're supposed to do. I should have actually had my ceremony and become an Eagle Scout, but because he had extra requirements that we hadn't worked on still, like, I, in any other troop, I would be an Eagle Scout, but that that was kind of fucked. Yeah. You know what, Nick? We'll get you your Eagle Scout badge. Yeah, we need to have <laughs> you luck. a fucking ceremony. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll get you your Eagle Scout badge. I don't dude. think there's like any record of that kind of stuff and like the stuff that I had anyway. Like we so. give a damn. We, we believe don't care. You, dude. Yeah. You're our boy. You are you our fucking it. Eagle Scout. You are. Of this wolf pack. Yeah. You're like, we got our Navy man. <laughs> we got our Eagle Scout. We had a Marine, but he's taking a hiatus. Quarantine got, Marine. Yeah, quarant quarantine Marine. And then, of course, we have our personal Jesus Christ with Micah. And then you got me. Nasty, the nasty patriarch. Ass. 
<laughs> the just founding for, like, father. Posterity, I would like to relearn like a couple of basic things again, and then just like redemonstrate them like at least make once. better pancakes than these eight year olds. Like, yes. I, want, like I, I can still tie a square knot, but I would like to relearn to tie sheep bins because I can't remember right now. Ah. Like, and I wouldn't feel right accepting <clears throat> a, even a fake Eagle Scout badge if I couldn't tie a sheep bin. Well, all right, <laughs> so, all right. Well, you, you know should what? let the comment section come up with some fucking badges you got. Yeah. Yes, like, yes. Okay, I would actually Chat. have a lot of fun with that as long as you don't make them stupid ridiculous all right or comment section give us three uh count up three merit badges that of your own making <laughs> that nick needs to do in order to officially get his renegade try, eagle scout badge try to budget them like under 40 dollars a piece yeah <laughs> it, it, yeah well i mean it's not like it's not like you have to drive to Los Alamos, grab a piece of nuclear material, Try and drive not to back. Like make me like you know like break quarantine too bad either. No, <laughs> make a bow tie out of some of your hair. It's like we got a park like next <laughs> well, door. All you gotta do is just vacuum up in the office and gather right. up enough of straight strands. I will wear that motherfucker. Anyways, oh yeah, anyways, let's get back to it. Point. Sorry. It's, it wasn't dust. It was a little canister with like powder that you'd okay rub on your teeth and then so, spit. I guess the the main question is to what degree was that really like just you versus the elements? How much intervention was there? Um, there there was there was enough just to get us by, but other than that, I didn't think there was a whole lot because I, I like I said like okay, so when I'm sleeping, I had I had a mattress that was probably probably this thick, and what? then a blanket this, like that was the thickness of this carpet. What they really did that to you? I'm like, and then my my pillow I didn't have one, so I used my red puffy coat. I puff it up and use it as a pillow. And I had long hair, so I got cut in the zipper a few times. Oh. Wait, so, but that must have been, like, legitimately scary for you a little bit, right? Yeah. Was it? I, yeah, I also shared it with, like, four or five other boys I just met. You <laughs> <laughs> were really out of it until the first right, time. Yes, meeting, yeah, right? yeah, you were, you were forced for the first four Because I love how they're like, don't worry, this isn't some kind of crazy show. You can get off. <laughs> just, you got to wait, like, two weeks. Like, that's really what they did, right? So that's not fake. You couldn't, you couldn't elect out. Not that I, I mean, if I, like... If I really, like, threw a tantrum, they probably wouldn't. But, like, I suppose you could have run in a different direction until they had, found you. They had, like, a, a, a wall of, like, security people, like, like really far off to, really? like, make sure that no weird people or no animals. Like, no was, weird people it, it was, or animals. It was, like, <laughs> America. Is that what it's called? The thing in the movement? I'm not sure. Or something Han- like that. They literally, yeah, like, hands like, across America. The a town. chain link like this? <laughs> they literally chains, but they look like they were. I think I'd be concerned if a weird man just showed up at the border of a of a random ghost town. Yeah. I, uh, so wait, yeah, no. Did you like? Were there scorpions in there? I never saw a scorpion. I saw jackrabbits. A jackrabbit. That's and I, terrifying. And I tried to murder them. Oh, I Sorry, Peta, but I mean, like, so what? Degree, you can't get all the scorpions. Well, they had to hunt food. <laughs> area. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know if they put down the scorpion repellent. Pesticide bomb. But, it. Um, they probably used mothballs. I, I didn't see anything. Did anybody see any critters that were dangerous? Not that I know of. I think that's what the people... I, when, actually, when we were out, like, jackrabbit hunting, we, we can't... We, we weren't really far off the area, but, like, we had obvious people, like, accompany us. We saw those... I, I remember seeing, like, cows and bulls, but they were tagged, so they, like... Right. Belonged to a farm. They weren't wild. Just wild they cows. Weren't, yeah, I don't know if you... I don't even know if there are wild cows. But. Very dangerous. And a bit rude, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, no, <laughs> a bit the, rude. The a bit rude. A bit. I was wondering. I was like... Because they're making you sleep in these dusty old cabins with, like... You know, that probably space between the floorboards, right? Yeah. So, so I'm surprised you didn't come across any. I, I, I wasn't there very long. So maybe maybe there's some... Hey, I, I'm curious. I'm curious <laughs> if anyone else... If anyone else from Kid Nation knows if there were critters in or around your area, I want to know. That, 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 was, that was a legitimate thing that I was wondering about. So, you had to feed <laughs> yourselves. You really were pretty much open to the elements. Like, was it, was it insulated? Was it cold at night in there? Oh, it was freezing. I... Because, yeah, it was really, they really cold. They didn't even keep you warm. You I only shivered. hit... I shivered every night. You shivered. Yes. They really genuinely put, like, I, I, because, like, the thing is, I'm just trying to figure out where the line between reality TV and they really are putting a kid in nature. It was pretty, all right, so we had these, yeah, we had these crappy old houses, and then they they put, they stuffed, like, six of us in there, tiny mat, thin mattresses, very thin blankets. In the middle of night in Mexico, it's freezing. I would, like, I'd have to wear, like, full clothing. I wouldn't be able to go in, like, PJs. I had, wow. I had, like, Sweatpants. So, I feel like there were a couple times at camp like that, but it was always like a little bit monitored. On the bus, when you're when you were all coming in, yes. Did they tell you where you were going? No, that bus ride was like two hours, and we had no idea. I remember I was just in. So we, we were at Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the bus. I remember just like I was on the like the window seat, and I was yeah, I was like looking out the window, 
I saw my mom and my sister, and we just like drove away, and I was like, "Shit, this is real." Like, oh, I have no idea. We drove forever, and they never told. They're like, "Whose idea was it for you to to get on this show? Go on the show?" Um, I think it was like my mom. I mean, like we, I was kind of interested in acting when I was little, and so I auditioned for this like the new role. But well, I was, you weren't gonna have to do any acting. I didn't, <laughs> no, I know. And so I th- we went to um an, an audition in Boston, and like they were like, "Oh, we like you, but you're too young," and that was when I was seven so it was a year oh. before and then the next year they were like oh I guess we I guess I still like me so they are like you're one year older so you're better now but well, they called your mom up and said we got the perfect role for him we're gonna strand him in a random location you can't come yes <laughs> and if you call the police we'll come for you we have people you <laughs> <laughs> uh, to your mom and you were trying to do acting you weren't like I'm so ready for this, this social experiment yeah uh, yeah I was more into the playing a character and being in a nice movie set. I knew they were all like child actors. No, I mean, where else you, are you going to find them? This is a nice movie set here in my actual basement. <laughs> no, but it is pretty sick, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, sick. It's I a like nice it. Movie set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but yeah, so you, you were trying to get the social experiment. Like, did you know that it was going to be like real, real? Or did you think this was going to be fake? Like, what was the imp- When you got off the bus, did everybody suddenly realize it's more real than they thought? I, I, I mean, I went in with like a whole different idea. Like, I was like, oh, I want to be like. Coolest kid, oh. fast kid. I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna have a fun time. Like I was expecting it to be more like an adventure. Like oh, it's gonna be fun. Right. No, like parents, can't. let's like drink root beer until like midnight. No one can tell us our bedtime kind of thing. I was like oh, it's great. I got there. It was horrible. Right. right, right, right. <laughs> if I were a kid, I think I would think the same thing. Like, did you have any concept at that age of like oh, it's reality TV, but it's probably not gonna be like totally real. So I grew up watching Survivor. Like my parents and my right. family would always watch it, and that seems very authentic. So I was like oh, it's gonna be like no. a kid Survivor, but like. There was a decent amount of intervention, and I think it was mainly because it was just like everywhere you turn, there's a camera. It's something you don't really realize when you're watching. Is that right? Actually, there, it's like cameramen everywhere. So, what did your parents think of this whole thing? I mean, so in the beginning, they were all for it because it, it sounds like a you know a cool adventure. Like, oh, he's gonna go out. Like, it sounded like a, a little bit more extreme summer camp. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, was a lot of. worse. But when I came back, they, they were like. My mom was very glad that I came home because she didn't realize how much she would like miss me after. Right. Oh, having to, like, that's sweet. Leave her child in New Mexico and go back to New Hampshire. And how long were you there uh, from like from the time you got off the bus to the time you left? So I, okay, so the, so I was at Bonanza City for four days. Four days. And then when I left, I I don't I think it was like two or three days. Okay. I was in a hotel with one of like the PA. Uh, do you call them PAs? It's, uh, production assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the PAs. I was just like in a hotel with it. That sounds really bad. Let me that does. No, <laughs> yeah. Let me return to the hands off. Let you do what you want. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Two different hotel rooms. He was just like maybe brought me to like the mall. We like had a we were having a fun time. Great guy. Hands Not off or hands off? Very hands off. Okay. Okay. Has this like all okay. of you? Did, did did your schoolmates find out about this and stuff? Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. I feel like I was the only kid from New Hampshire on it, so like it was oh. talk of the town. Right. Yeah, and Aaron in my fourth grade, everyone was like fine with it. And then I think as we got older and we got into that prepubescent, like. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Backlash. Yeah. Backlash. I don't know. Yeah! Whatever I heard, it was like backlash from like. Wouldn't you think people would be like, oh, oh Jimmy, that was funny. Sick kid from Canada. It was like, ah, oh, you're oh, a. You bitch. got put in the desert by producers. Like, what? Why, yeah. why would they make fun of you for that? Because I, because I left early and I cried and they're like, I don't, I don't cry. cry. You, you were AIDS! People don't cry. Apparently, I'm the only person that cried. You were not the only in the episode <laughs> no. I watched. Play the clip. Yeah. Look at all them crying. Everyone cried. They all. That's Literally they half that's of the cast was crying. I mean, this kid ain't no bitch. He's an eight-year-old kid that got thrown out in the middle of the desert with a friggin' pancake mattress, a friggin' itchy blanket, using his own puffy jacket as a damn pillow. How in the hell is this kid a mm. pussy? Dude, I'm stuck on pancake mattress. That sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> when he said that, I was just like, "No, <laughs> no, comfy and tasty." Oh God, uh, no, yeah, yeah, a, a pancake mattress on a puff pastry pillow. Oh, yep, turnover. Thing is, I like syrup on my pancakes, but I do not want syrup touching. I mean, like you can be floating on like a uh, like a pool toy made out of pancake in a in a pool of maple syrup. Melm, melm. If you it, like, 
if you get one drop of syrup like <clears throat> anywhere on you, like on your hand or something, it's sticky for the whole fucking rest of the day. Yeah, that would be a, wash it off with water. That would I've be a pretty dope like, like method to capture like an enemy in or something. Like, oh, I landed on a fluffy pancake. This is fine. Oh no, syrup. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> They say, you know, you're going to be like landfill from freaking beer fest. Yeah. Drowning in a freaking vat of beer. Trying to drink no. your way out. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, see, you just see the tornado spire coming down to his mouth. <laughs> Can't do that with syrup, though. Wow. Can't do that with syrup. Oh, all right. Back to it. This is real. Like, half the... Half the kids break down eventually. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what I really want to know. That one scene where, you, do you remember there's a scene where you're just crying somewhere? In the, in the back of a barn. Did you yes. really run away? I actually did run away. And then the producers, or the Karen, found me like, hey, Jimmy, can we, can we film you? He did. Oh, God. That's what I said. I made fun of it. It's really what happened. <clears throat> he came up. He's just like, yeah, give me more of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, do you mind if we film you? Like, this would be pretty good. And I was like. This will be good. <laughs> Let me interrupt you. Like, this will be good. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, I know you have no concept of anything. Your prefrontal cortex isn't even grown in yet. This is gonna be great for me. <laughs> the water is coming. I was like, whatever it takes. Honestly, what? <laughs> what? Because I joked about that, but I'm like, because my feeling was, you're filming an eight-year-old crying. It's not. It's not fake. No. You can't be like, like Haley Joel Osment when you see him crying on an AI or whatever movie when he's a kid actor. You're Six like, cents. okay, so he learned to cry. But when a kid's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, jeez. <laughs> I couldn't believe anybody could just sit there and be like, because like silently like, yeah, heart, kind of heartless. So were there any like, was there a fallout from this? Was it like a lawsuit or anything? Um, I did not sue them, but they were sued a bunch of times. So kids kid drink bleach. Jimmy's the first I've heard of that. So, I'm glad to hear it. So, so, you guys about the bleach? Yeah. So, I was not there for that part. But, you know, kids don't know how to clean things very well. So, they're like, ah, this is a dirty glass. Bleach. You mean they bleach, they wash the it's, glass? They, instead of washing it with soap and water, or just hot water, they used bleach to clean it. Oh my it. And god! And they didn't wash it out very well. Next, next glass. Oh no! Do they get Nine, sick? Do they get the sick? The ambulance came. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. But like, was it like a real reaction from drinking bleach? Or, I mean, was, yeah, or was it a preventative ambulance? I mean, there's no, there's no way you feel good after drinking bleach. Wow! Another girl got burnt, like, like got really. I, not, I don't know how bad, but she had oil burns. She still her face. Um, probably, hopefully, maybe. Well, probably. you haven't seen it, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. So she got burnt. How? She was cooking, and she and again, kids don't know how to cook, so they're, they're it was like, like an oh, oil like, burn. I need at least three cups of oil in this pan. Oh, oh it's 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 yeah. oil fires. It's not deep frying it. They just were trying to cook it. Like, oh sizzle out. And, and, and that's the thing about oil fires, too, that a lot of people don't know. You can't use water to put them out. Yeah. That just amplifies it. Yeah. Instead, you actually have to smother it. And, oh, God. That's terrifying. <sighs> Man. Like, if anything, I wouldn't have had the kids cook i mean like, I there's a lot of things like man i, I think cook simple stuff if it was really this wild i mean they got lucky about a lot of things yes dude. because i mean there's been plenty of times at like crime scenes or whatever where kids are involved and they just like freak out and don't fucking tell anybody yeah so if some accident happened with one of the other kids they would try to make sure nobody fucking found out, like yeah. for as long as they could. Kid you know, usually, off, kid rolls off the top of the barn, like fractures his leg. Yeah, and all the other kids are just like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do we do? What do we do?" Yeah, don't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, like, shh. or maybe one of them would, but there has been a lot of. I mean, you just don't want to have kids in these situations. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you know. Uh oh, what's got you chuckling? Immediately made me think of South Park with like, oh, dude, you stuck it in his eye, dude. It's like we can't oh, let anybody the, find oh, out about this. Yeah, weapons, exactly. The yeah, fun with weapons. It's like you're not gonna tell anybody, are you, brother? He's like, I tell everybody. <laughs> and then, and then they because do he can't get so much trouble. All right, we gotta kill him. <laughs> they're, 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 and then they do everything they can to mask it. Like, they yeah. dress Butters up like a dog yeah. to try and pass it. I was like, like uh, <laughs> that just, And then God. all of a sudden, at the end of it, uh, Cartman's trying to sneak across the stage naked because he's under the in the <laughs> uh, under the uh, intention that his character is naked. Whenever he's naked, is he's invisible. invisible, yeah. And he's, like, sneaking across the stage, and you know, like, Cartman's doodle is just hanging out there. Like... And then, instead of the violence that, you know, Butters almost loses his eye... 
everyone's like like grossly offended that you know my son my daughter was watching and could have potentially saw his penis what are you gonna do about it and then everyone just started talking about like the yeah. sex stuff instead of the violence yeah it's like and all of a sudden all the kids are just like wait let's go with it let's go with this yeah i was offended when i saw it and then uh, and then it's just like that's how they got past the weapons and then all of a sudden you know cartman got in trouble and no one else did it's a hilarious episode. I love that episode. Hey, but dude, let's go King Castle. Somebody yeah, could have got fighting Rob. Oh yeah, the anime, terribly. the anime scenes. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. shit was funny as shit. I loved that. Yeah, it was a great episode. But yeah, this they got lucky, like you were saying. It could have been way worse. Way worse. Way worse. Oh, that's why I like this. Is like every time you turn a corner, there's a cameraman. So I doubt anything happened that like a cameraman wouldn't have been with. Probably, shot yeah. Of. Which is also creepy if you think about it. Like they're just all laying there sleeping, and there's a cameraman. Like, yeah. I couldn't go to sleep, bro. I wouldn't be able to. I don't know, man. Like, all of a sudden, I'd hear that camera reel going because I I think this is, like, actually, no, this is around the time when digital was, like, more readily available. Guarantee you, you'd have looked over and you just heard... You just looked over just like... No, dude, it's just not good. I can't, I can't. Mm -mm. And then all of a sudden, you're just like, can you turn the camera off, man? I'm trying to sleep here. And they're like, we know, we know. (laughs) No, this is great. Keep sleeping. I'm not sleeping. You're you're making you're preventing me from doing that. Oh God. All right, back to it. I think pretty sure they got they got sued for that. The, Those the, are the only two I know. Because I've never heard of it. And when you try to buy this thing online, there's one clip of this show online. Mm-hmm. Which everywhere that it's listed, you can't buy it. It's not for sale. I assume the lawsuits to mm-hmm. they try to bury this thing. Yeah, I think so too. But they gave all the. Uh, well, at least me. I shouldn't speak for everybody else. They gave me a DVD of every episode. So I have all of them. Okay, was there really one bathroom only? Yes. Well, for the guys, no, because I peed behind every... Almost wherever every you want Yeah, I peed wherever I want. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so there. was there really just one house for 40 kids? Yeah, so, there, so it was actually right outside my room. And the funny thing was, if I woke up, there was a line of like 20 kids waiting to use the outhouse. And I didn't like... So that's really real... <laughs> That's really real. I was wondering, I'm like, 40 kids? Yeah. 40 kids, one outhouse? This is going to be a line. That's why yeah. I would have taken the re- other porta potties instead of the TV. Yeah. And there was 20 kids waiting for the one outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I peed outside for this part. That's why they actually <laughs> agreed on taking the porta potties. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I also yeah. have a bit of a problem with that. Just kidding. <laughs> so there's a girl pee on the outside. Oh, uh, on the side of the house? Oh God, God, John! No, I gotta just ask one more time. One, there was was no other way. There was no other way to relieve oneself. No, and I did not defecate while I was there. (laughs) Jimmy, you didn't. You didn't drop the kid. That's why. Parents (laughs) drop. That's why. I have been there, bro. Crying, (laughs) crying, and shaking. (laughs) <laughs> now's the time <laughs> i've been in situations too where i was like like for example like one of the hikes and scouts you know oh god it was either you had to go out in the woods and dig a hole yeah or hold there. it until you got back and so i totally was like i'm digging holding a hole. it till i got back oh dude i uh, i'm not afraid to dig a hole and just... uh, uncle like, grandpa I'm, I was digging a hole not, i'm digging not cool with that as a kid i was like i don't like that idea dude, i'm gonna wait till i get home dude <clears> i was <throat> with my dad out in the middle of the forest hunting and he had like the you know the the e-tool that you could like, like the little yeah. shovel thing and uh he's just like he's like you want me to dig the hole or you want to dig it and i'm like I'm I like, ain't digging no fucking hole. I'm just shitting on the ground, no, bro. And then, if and it's then, in the woods, I'm just shitting. No, my dad, just dad, no, my dad yes. was just. Boy Scouts like, leave no Well, no, no, because yeah. because here's the thing, deer ninjas could, aren't the deer chasing could, me the no deer more. Would actually be able to smell it, and the deer would actually be able to smell it if you were downwind of them. I'm also and it would not hunting. I'm usually at just like a house show or somewhere drunk and just like moseying around somebody's yard. I, I'm I was just out, I'm not digging. I was no out hole. hunting with my dad when I was around like nine or ten years old. And uh, and he was just and I told him I had to go to the bathroom and he's like, well, son, we're not going to be going back for the next like three or four hours. And I'm like, I'm like, so how many more spots do we have to go before we can go back? And he and he's just like, like four or five more. I mean, because you know we sit there, we stop, we would sit at a place for about thirty minutes or so, then we move on to the next one if there wasn't any activity. And then all of a sudden, um, I was just like, I can't hold it anymore, Dad. And he's like, all right, pulls out his e tool, pulls out some like little paper towels and stuff, and he's just like. You want to dig the hole or you want me to? And I'm like, I'll do it. I go behind a set of trees. I dig. 
I hunch myself up against the tree as best I can. I drop trow and I just let her rip. I think there's enough details. And then, you know, I, I bury it. I come back and, uh, and then after that, my dad uh, like my dad gets the shovel, puts it back in his pack, and we keep moving. I mean, you, you like you don't have a choice. Uh, like whenever you're not going to be back at civilization. I mean, heck, our toilet back at civilization wasn't. Like you any do better. have a choice. Just shit and go. <laughs> Just shit and go, man. Also, that freeze frame on John's face says so much, right there. Look at that. He's like, oh, <laughs> bro, bruh. Sorry. Okay. Drop their kids off, but you didn't drop your kids off at I, any pool. I, I, I saw the outhouse. I saw a girl come out. I went in, and, you know, and I just saw a lot of poop. And I was like, I can't you do this. You saw a lot of poop. And so you I just, got out. And I it, just it did not go. And you saw the scene. You saw the you saw the crime scene. I saw <laughs> you tried to bleach it from your mind, not not literally just that. Wait. So we've been to enough rock rock clubs to know and see how bit horrible some down. bathrooms are, dude. It is a crime scene. <laughs> What, what was that? Teach it from your mind, not not literally just that. Wait, so can you just expand on the statement, I saw a lot of poop? I was afraid that if I sat down, it would go in me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus, God. dude. I didn't want that to happen. God so knows like, you have enough boiling up inside. And so I, just, I was like, I can't do you this. You don't need an insertion. And I look back, I don't know who would ever empty it. So like, it would literally just pile up. So nobody emptied it? I don't think so, because when I, when I went in, it was kind of a tower. It was a tower. It was kind of... I was wondering a tower like, of poop. Really was so they genuinely were like, "Do you want to watch cartoons, kids, or would you like to have sanitation?" D- did you guys take showers? So, oh for the god, first three days we did not take a shower. But after our big like event, when it had like all the wa- colored water all over us, then we took a shower for like. Where, where were those showers? They had them in like little trailers. So they could have brought you more porta potties. Yes. They just didn't <laughs> wanna. Yes. He wanted to torture you on purpose. Jesus. Did Jonathan Karsh have his own uh, bathroom? I think he had his own trailer. I'm pretty sure he had a nice... God dang it, John. Okay, I got I to gotta ask you about Jonathan Karsh. Mm-hmm. It's a creepy, strange alien lizard man, isn't he? I, I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> he was I like this guy. He's just like... You are looking like easy pickings down there. <laughs> yeah, he would repeat the same lines over and over again because it would be like, oh, that take wasn't good enough. So he, he was really? very robotic. He'd be like, in our town's objective is this. And then the big guy and say it again. And he would say, in our town's objective. So he would repeat things over and over again. So we were really like, yo, what the fuck's You're going like, wrong? Is like broken? <laughs> yeah. It always kind of looked like he it's was like a little hamster wheel in his head, you. like oh, he's spun off. That was, I mean, also like when I left, he's he probably just, just doing like, multiple takes for the cameras and stuff without really telling you. He was just like looking down. Doing. He was like, "Bye, bitch." Yeah, <laughs> that's how one of the. There's a few things because we do media. We know certain tricks of the trade, and I, I noticed certain things that were like you could not fake. Like you were looking up at this towering man, like you're giving him this pretty kind of accurate look. and i'm like my god jimmy's truly like in awe because normally like at that age adults talk to you kind of in a different way like you may get down to your level and you try to have a conversation yeah. nah but he's just like <laughs> power figure well i guess you're leaving little boy <laughs> the door is that way it was weird i really thought it was weird were you creeped out by him i was i was a little, I, I didn't feel safe around him i'll say that <laughs> <laughs> the source. he didn't feel safe around jay Carr's the king I don't know if you saw. Did you see that? We put him right. That's where he was in the feudal economy. <laughs> call, I call him Jay King Karsh. What did you? What did you guys call him? I didn't know his name. You didn't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that specter that shows up. <laughs> yeah. And taunts me with host. Star. So they Mr. didn't host, tell you about man. the star uh, until you. Well, you didn't know about it until you left. I I think I knew about it like on the flight home. Cause I I cause when I went in, I was my mom alluded to the idea like, oh maybe you'll be able to win money. So they might—they might have might told, told her. her. I, I, I'm gonna confront Jimmy. her about that. How'd you feel when you found out you uh, you lost a chance at the star without even knowing? I was—I I was, I was a little bit pissed. I was like, Cause, you cause, were. They didn't tell it. I—I I, I don't know if that would have kept me around, but it certainly would have had a fact. It would—it would have had a push to make me sick. I, 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 I we wondered that because you walked out and then he's like, "All right, here it is." He <laughs> had the shit. I didn't know until yeah. two days later. I was like, "What the fuck?" Dude, it's crazy. Do you know what happened to Jared three years before that day? Today, I'm in the worst day in three years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering that myself. I'm very, I'm very, I'm worried for him. I don't know what happened.
happened three years ago. Really bad happened. So you said you were on the news about it? Yeah, yeah. So so I went out when I was eight, but it, you're, it aired a year later. And so I was on the news, like, or there were like some like a news channel, like like around the time it was aired. And they were like, oh, you know, we feel bad. You, you missed out on your chance to win a gold star. So we got you one for yeah. the studio. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm going to get money. Oh, I was like, no. look at this. I was like, wow. That one's rounded. It's not even. It doesn't even look. And like it's also a star. paperweight that I accidentally broke. <laughs> oh, it's a paperweight. You, how'd you break it? Enraged. I, <laughs> the people, people keep screwing me over. I'm just a little boy. I think mean, that's what it was. But yeah, it, this is probably worth you know. Seven dollars. I, I can, I, I can see that at least. You could probably get it for five ninety nine on Amazon. Maybe yeah. not these days. That doesn't even look like the same kind of star. It's not. Yeah. A lot smaller. Kind of, kind of small. So the fact like, that it's him that owns it, yeah, if he put it on oh, eBay, people will probably pay a fuck ton for it. Oh, I would. Yeah. I would. Especially I just... after seeing John Tron's video. Yes. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, hey, Jimmy. <clears throat> we'll pay for it. I'll give you I'll give you some money for that. Spread them legs, probably Nate. Probably not $20,000. No. But... Start, a, start a OnlyFans. Let's buy this star. <laughs> Work for that money. He's going to save lives. See, that's what happens to people who go through traumatic life events. So, so you're going to medical school for what kind of what kind of, what field? I'm not sure yet. Um, I th- I'm thinking like oncology right now, but I mean, it's probably gotta change. Oncology. What's oncology? Cancer. Ca- <laughs> okay, I don't ever do this. I don't ever do this. I'm gonna pretend I knew what oncology was because I don't wanna look that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I know what most fields are. I didn't know the cancer field was called oncology. That's a weird name. It's uh, a really weird name. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So Jimmy, what field are you well, going so into? So much for that. Um, right now I think we're going to oncology. <laughs> Oncology, for all those of you who don't know, that's the cancer one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, it doesn't make it any better, John. <laughs> it didn't ask off screen. Oh. So, <laughs> you should all feel stupid out there for not knowing that. Okay, so yeah, you're going into to the field for like research or actual uh, surgery or I, what I, I'm thinking like, like I hope, probably both, like, like research and like clinical work, like working with patients. Nice. Brilliant. Well... Jimmy, hey. you seem like you're, you're a real nice, cool guy. Has anyone Thank ever you. described you that way? Told you that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that ever nice to you? That's a shame for the video. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, people are nice. Well, Jimmy, thank you so much for coming on. But before you leave, we've got a little something for you. We wanted to right this wrong, okay? And we wanted to finally give you that star we feel you deserved. That's right. Bring it out, boys. What? I was wondering what the printer was doing there! The entire time, I was wondering what the printer was doing there! I just saw the Epson printer, and I'm just like, why is there a printer that... And lo and behold, it's... it's... it's for this. Totally. There we go! Sorry, that's the, that's the best we can do. We're working with... we're out of magenta on the printer. We can't go out and get any... I think everything's closed. So here you go, Jimmy! How do you feel? There it is! That QR code, you just scan that. One free Big Mac. No drink, though. I'm sorry. Let me let me disinfect that for handing it over to you. All right. There it is for the big guy. <laughs> say. How do you feel, Jimmy? Complete. Can you, Complete. Get, you scan you scan that. You scan that code, one free Big Mac. No drink, though. I'm sorry. We got to work with the times where... Yeah, hold that up. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, Jimmy. I mean, it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure having you on. Thank you I for love coming. this guy. Absolutely. Thank you for, very much for having me, John. Sure, <clears throat> man. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I don't, I'm not an interviewer. So I just have one final question for you. Uh, what do you regret more, Kid Nation or John Tron? This has been a pretty shitty experience. Yeah, fuck you, dude. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I love this, dude. And that kid, that kid is like really cool. The yeah, fact that he's that going funny. into medicine, you know, I mean, in oncology, of course. Which, you know, I wasn't 100 percent sure what oncology was as well, John. I mean, I mean, I'm 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 kind of stupid, so I didn't know that that was the the cancer one. Yeah, I definitely heard the word, but I, I had be- too. Is it on ecology? If somebody or had been like, oncology. what is that? Oncology. Like, I would have been like, uh... <laughs> yeah, and it shows you how smart I am. Uh, my, but, yeah. I, <laughs> Jimmy seemed pretty cool, man. I mean, he seemed pretty chill. 
Yeah, he's, he, he definitely made me think maybe there was a lot more of that that was pretty raw. Yeah, and there's some people... I mean, definitely past the limit of what they should have been doing, in my opinion. You know, kidding, Jesus dude. Christ. Dude. Well, okay, if, if they were to try this show again, if they were to try this show again, I wouldn't put it in the middle of the desert. I mean, you just, you just can't, dude. You can't do that. I mean... There's a reason why kids don't live on their own, man. There's too many risks involved with it. Well, well, yeah. I believe to a certain extent kids should have, you know, a reasonable amount of freedom to mm. develop into strong people. But, like, there's also a limit to their ability to know the risk-reward and, like, how quickly they could just be done yeah. if they make the wrong move in certain situations. Man. You want to know something, Ed? <clears throat> I saw something earlier today that actually just made me go, hmm, you know, if I were a kid, I probably would have done the same thing. And honestly, I'd have probably fallen and broken my neck. The The kids next door were oh. out on the roof oh, I saw. playing, yeah, like I saw. jumping up and down, rolling around up on the roof, and I'm like, you idiots! There was one kid who literally walked up to the edge, like hunkered down, went up to the gutter, and like dropped something down the gutter, and he was just like, "Yeah, no, I saw cool. him out there." And I'm like, "You stupid kid!" Like me, I had a, I had a, a, a second floor, like when I saw room. him, they were just sitting there. Oh, dude! They're, they're, and I was tripping. I was like, "Nikki, like, do I need to go and be like that guy right now?" Because it was giving me a panic attack, and she was just like, "I mean." <clears throat> If they're just sitting there, then I didn't. If they, I'd seen them getting up, jumping up and down, bro, I would have been tripping. I out. was tripping, dude. I was in the kitchen upstairs, just yeah. like sitting there, I just uh, eating. Like I, I, I had to take my medicine with applesauce because you know throat condition. Ha <laughs> ha, fun. Anyway, I was, uh, I was up there and just eating that, and then all of a sudden I hear, I hear clump clump. I'm like, the heck is that? I go over and I look, I pull down the blinds. And I see them, like, up there jumping up and down. And I see one, like, running up over top the one section over to the other side up above the uh, the second-story room over there. And I'm like, these stupid kids. And then all of a sudden, I go out on the front porch. There's a part of their house that will be, like, at least a 20-foot drop. If yeah. You the oh, the dude. There. Oh, my God. That would, that, like, that would do some serious damage. Yeah. <sighs> now y'all got me having another panic attack. Don't, don't, don't. <clears throat> like, like. Take it, like, These kids, man. You, I mean, they just don't know, and it's just like this situation here. You know, I mean, one of them decides they want to jump out a window or something. Nobody's there to tell them not to. Well, sure, the cameras are there. But, yeah. Well, it's I mean, like how just, do they keep the older girls and dudes from sneaking off and doing snogging? Yeah. Well, I mean, they would definitely be uh, in some rough. Well, territory the, with that the oldest, situation. The oldest kids were like fifteen. I mean, kids thirteen to fifteen. I mean, they're they're uh, they're developing. They're liable for that situation. Yes, dude. they are. In my opinion, they're. I, I just am surprised that it's like, hey, we just, we're bringing your daughter back from uh, you know uh, Kid Nation. Uh, she did win forty thousand dollars, but congratulations, she's also pregnant. Yeah, Ooh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but also like. <laughs> Your kid slipped in the kitchen, like fell on glass. Sorry, shouldn't have been trying to wash dishes or cook at that age. But well, yeah. you okay, know, like no, well, here's to here's what the I would do. Oil burn, like damn. <clears throat> well, yeah, and that's they, the least that could have happened. They really well, got lucky, man. If I were to re redo this show, I would not have the kids like directly cook dangerous stuff. And Why? Give them rations. Yeah, that's what I would do. I mean, you don't well, have to put them in four star luxury hotels or no. cater to them if the whole point. You basically is have it. to idiot proof yes. the whole experience because kids can be Jesus. Idiots, yes, so. and and I would give them challenges that would be like like you have to hike to this certain point on the map. You have to find like this uh, this uh, artifact and bring it back to the prospector for him to like inspect. For uh, you know, for to see if your uh, claim on that land is legitimate or something like that, and stuff like that, I would have them do hikes, and I would have the and certain challenges they probably did in the show were probably pretty cool, like idea wise and everything. It's just the living conditions, the cooking conditions, the the sanitation conditions, dude. I mean, one bathroom? No, no. I am having full bathrooms for all of them. Yeah. Because that is something that honestly. Is a requirement. 
That is something that has to be required for this. And I know, you know, the, this is the shotgun days of, uh, of uh, you know, reality TV where there were no rules. Bullshit. Bullshit. There's just common decency. No practice of that here, dude. Not a single drop of it. And Well, it's definitely... Uh... It's definitely a sign of the the times and how people yeah. have been able to uh, try to be more decent people. I believe to a certain extent, some As, people are overdoing it. Obviously, of but course, there's definitely. Uh, I'm glad that this would never go over nowadays. Like Absolutely. that makes me feel better about certain things. You know? Yeah, and and I'm glad that <clears> we did. I'm glad that I'm glad we were able to watch this and we were able to get a conclusive. Uh, I still you know, want to see it for the train wreck. I'm sure it there, is. There's people who have said that this is actually all on YouTube right now. Oh, I'm sure. Well, so, they said you can't buy it, so. Well, I mean, I'm willing to. I'm willing to watch this to see what's up. Sure. I mean, because could I mean what you, could you go wrong? You guys can go for it. <laughs> I well, yeah, we probably we might. I'm not, I'm not really interested. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. That's fine. I'm, I mean, I'm I've sure never really been awful. hugely interested in reality TV in general. Me like, neither. Uh, the only thing that I've ever really watched is Gordon Ramsay's stuff, just because I love Gordon Ramsay. Flavor of Love, dog. <laughs> the White Rapper show on VH1. Oh God, yeah. It, it's like yeah, fast like, food anytime entertainment. You say <laughs> shit like that, like I just twenty of my brain cells just kind of like go into coma and just they're like, Ugh. yeah, no, it is absolutely it's garbage, slobbering trash TV, dude. I, yeah, I just I remembered we're only alive for like. What, like if we're lucky, like 70, 70 to years. 80 years, 70 like, to 80 years yeah. I'm not, I don't want to spend large amounts of time of that watching just absolute garbage fire TV. Like, well, oh, yeah, I I it's like usually background waste. noise for me when I'm doing other shit. I know it's I sound like old, like y'all worst in your life watching that garbage on television, but no. I'm just like, dude, at least if I'm going to watch something, I want it to be something that's just not a garbage fire. It, it has yeah. more meaning. I get like, that. I understand it's like kind of fun to like. You know, be like, ha, ha, this is so stupid. But like, I do that for like a max, like one episode. And then I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're, we're cool now. We're cool. Yeah. I get that. But well, dude, like hoarders is crazy as fuck. There's like so many shows out there that are just like crazy as shit. Like, uh, what the obsession show where strange addiction. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, that's considered reality TV. That to one me. I would rather just hear about people talking about is like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Right, than actually go sit down and watch it myself. Human interest <laughs> shit. Just like some of it freaks me out. I don't know. I like weird well, shit. The human psyche is just oh. <clears throat> as broad as anything out there, dude. I mean, literally we have a universe between our ears Yeah, and, and to figure it out is truly an, unreachable task because yeah. the very moment you think you've got one part of the brain figured out you figure out oh well then what does this receptor do oh it affects this receptor oh because how does it affect this receptor well just people boom, are boom, weird boom. man it's just yeah people are weird there's weird stuff going on out there and it's all funny to me so well welcome yeah. to the human race everybody where insanity is our history yeah. all right well ladies and gentlemen it's funny when it doesn't make me like not at all proud to be a part of this race of people no no planet. i'm i'm proud to be a part of the human race i just have to differentiate the the shit heels from the rest of the rest of oh humanity. yeah dude because yeah. there's as as it was said in men in black an individual is concise Decis Sometimes you just see large groups of people. That's like, what doing I'm saying. Really stupid but, shit, and you're well, just like, God. And that's and yeah. that's why I say it. forty yeah. people agreed to this. Like, yeah. or actually, eighty people. And, like, you know, between and, forty and eighty people agreed to let their kids come out here to the desert. Like, it's unbelievable. And, and God damn it. And that's what I, and that's, <laughs> it's unbelievable. And that's, and that's what I was saying. It's unbelievable. Uh, a person is smart. People are dumb. Uh, they're are dumb, crazy animals who go with the herd. And honestly, it it's detrimental to society. However, I will say this, uh, society, I mean, like, certain groupthink mentality is actually how society has become formed. However, certain parts of society that have been formed... But people are crazy are, and stupid, too, individually, yeah. bro. Like, well, no, I know that. There was a lady on that show, Hoarders, who was reluctant to let them not eat. She was reluctant to let them keep her from eating food that was, like, definitely contaminated with poop. For sure. She was like... I just need one last hurrah, just one last binge. And they're like, you're telling us you want to eat this food that definitely has feces on it. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, God. Dude. Oh. Like, that's an individual. So people in across the board, a large amount of people are just so fucked up. It's crazy. 
Yeah. I can either be disturbed by it or be disturbed and entertained. Or yes. many other things that I could pick. I choose to laugh at that shit. I do too. Yeah. And I did laugh at this a lot because this was this was actually really Insane. enlightening, insightful, kind of scary, but also very funny. Drink your beans. <laughs> and so try not to Jim, spill them on the carpet. Seems like Jimmy should be on YouTube like more often. Like, yeah, he's got a channel. good personality. Dude. <laughs> he does. Yeah. He's got a really bright personality. Seems like somebody like I'd watch on YouTube. Yeah, that is if John didn't actually kill him. I mean, you know, there at the end, he's like, all right, I'm fucking killing this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was John Tron, Jimmy Tells All, Kid Nation exclusive. Hope you all enjoyed it, and we hope that you all will uh, uh, hope that you all will check out John's or the original video. Hopefully, you all did that before even watching this. So, uh, if you want to check out John's channel, the hyperlink in the title of our video will take you directly to his channel. Check out his videos; he deserves all the praise and all the love that he deserves on this. And uh, if you all want to see more from us, I mean, you know what to do. You hit that subscribe button. You ring that bell to stay notified. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. I'm Chad. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.